Welcome to the incredible, incompatible Lake Tekapo in the South Island, New Zealand. Just going to shoot a few, a few sunrise shots. Yesterday we had a lot of cloud, a lot of snow on the mountains, a lot of mood. It was just, ah, oh, man, the, the drive down the road wasn't far. 40 k's. It took an eternity because I'm pulling the van up, I'm jumping out of the van, I'm shooting shots. On the banks of Lake Tekapo, we've got probably the most photographed church in New Zealand, Church of the Good Shepherd. And basically, we're in a dark sky reserve. Astrophotographers from all over the country and I dare say the world come down here and uh, photograph this church under the, under the Milky Way and it is spectacular. So I spent a couple of hours last night shooting the uh, Milky Way and then in the van last night, my God, I tell you, it was freezing. It is so cold. No idea how cold, but it's cold. Lake Tekapo went up to the, the hill behind me there. That is Mount John and that's the Canterbury University Space Observatory, I believe. Looking from the top of that hill down the valley towards the mountains, towards the Alps, you've got a beautiful, stunning little lake, the little sister lake to Lake Tekapo, which is Lake Alexandrina. Oh, <laughs> wow, honestly. If anybody does come down to this area, one thing you've got to do, because this is, this is salmon country, as well as mountains and lakes and, and just dark skies and just all around beautifulness, you've got salmon. Salmon, man, are you loud or what? I ain't feeding you. I've never caught a salmon. I've caught trout, I've caught carp, I've caught, I've caught all sorts of fish. Uh, but never caught a salmon, so let's give it a go. I didn't bring any gear down with me, and there's no way I'm going to stand at the side of a lake for all day waiting for a fish that might never never come. So there's something called High Country Salmon down here, and they, they sell some of the most beautiful salmon you can imagine. I'm not a big fish eater. Fish hates me, to be fair. It, it just doesn't sit well with me. Uh, but salmon and trout, funnily enough, they're okay. They run a thing called Catch Your Own Salmon. So you catch your salmon, and you take the salmon home with you. Brilliant. And they even fillet it for you. Brilliant, so I did that. Now on the website, because I don't read, <laughs> let me rephrase that, because I don't read instructions, I just saw on the website, it says catch your own fish, catch your own salmon, $15. So I booked it. I thought, free now, $15 to go there, catch a fish, get them to fillet it. I think it was $10 extra to fillet it. So, so for $25, I was gonna go down there, catch a bloody fish, catch a big salmon. They're gonna fillet it for me. I'm gonna fetch it home. Happy days, happy days. Brilliant. Anyway, so I went down there, caught a fish and now the first fish I caught was six and a half kilo I believe I, I keep stretching this one but I think it was about six and a half kilo huge fish beautiful fish and the guy the instructor said mate he says uh, now nah, it's too big is that one we, we'll, we'll keep that one for the shop uh, you can have another go and try and catch one of the smaller ones for yourself sweet as yeah yeah dead right so I cast in again and got another fish I mean it's easy fishing really to be honest yeah but I got a second fish four and a half four and a half kilo this time so he says yeah that's a good one that's a good one take that so I, I took it and he says right he says we'll fill it and he says we'll uh, we'll vacuum pack it he says uh, just just go to the counter and sort it out so I went to the counter to sort it out like you do and apparently unbeknown to myself because I didn't read the instructions you've got to pay by the kilo for the fish you catch and it ended up costing me eh, quite a little packet uh, about 130 dollars a hull up i think it cost me uh, for the whole experience uh, but in fairness we've got a van full of salmon and if you're down this way guys and you uh, if you fancy catching a salmon then there's your thing all right guys so uh, enjoy the video if you can if you're still here if you're still awake adios